so when there is a discussion about any issue the people talk about that say for example pollution of river ganga so when people identified or noticed that the river ganga is being polluted that is by the various pollutants left by the industries or factories from different states like bihar west bengal uttar pradesh dumping all their pollutants wastes chemicals from the industries and household waste sewage the litter everything is dumped into into the river ganga so all these are drained directly into river ganga which polluted the ganga water even the dead corpus the dead bodies are half burnt dead bodies are thrown into river ganga so it is a some other kind of religious aspect whatever it might be it pollutes the river drastically so lot to a large extent damage is caused to the river ganga so when this kind of activities are done so primarily it will be not recognized that they think that it is a very minor thing it simply just sinks in that large or huge amount of water but many people doing that in a large quantity becomes a large quantity when huge amounts of wastage from all these states is dumped into the river ganga it becomes totally a polluted river of course it becomes a poisonous river that means consumption of water at particular or certain places is poisonous even and it also contains very dangerous bacteria which can cause diseases coliform bacteria and lots and lots lots of uh, poisonous substances heavy metals because industries they use different kind of metals or materials chemicals for various uh, Um, activities you see the tanning industry so to tan the leather they use so many chemicals which are finally released into the river so that kind of thing happened to river ganga and it got totally polluted so once it is completely polluted to restore its natural condition it will take very long time it involves lot of people i mean it it involves it takes lot of money thousands of crores of rupees are to be invested again to restore its original condition so whose fault is that whose money is again spent that is the people money we are paying the taxes so these taxes are all collected together and 2000 crores or 5000 crores so the government spends in its restoration purification but here initially why to pollute the river again why we should spend this much amount of money and people are not sure here ganga action plan so this action plan was started because of some issues raised by some people or by the discussions raised in that uh, parliament so by that so this ganga action plan it has taken in 1985 by which the government spends crores of rupees to clean river ganga but even though the government spends thousands of crores of rupees if people are not aware of their activities if the government is not having strict rules to control the pollutants not to be released into the river so they make certain standards to the industries otherwise they cancel the licenses of industries or every industry must be following the measures proper waste disposal measures it is not possible to control the pollution of rivers so it is a very bigger thing and what else we can do at our at our level so we are talking that the people should be like that the government should be like that the industrialist should be like this then what about us our case how we should be of course we are not maybe near to river ganga we may be near uh, river godavari or any other river so the thing is that we can take certain act we can take certain o oh, that is not to cause harm to the environment not to pollute the natural resources so even at our level we can start practicing the three r's reduce reuse recycle so these three things can be followed at our level at your level as a student you can do this you can reduce you can reuse you can recycle the natural resources or materials so by that your contribution will be counted everyone does that so everyone's contribution even though it is very small or negligible when it is added in millions and millions it will show a good impact even we also can bring a change so how much big the problem will be if everybody's attention towards contribution everybody involves 
everybody participates in the idea of judicious usage of natural natural resources or protection of natural resources definitely we can bring a great change if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus